So basically, what are we going to do today? Well, it's going to be rather simple, really quickly. What I want to do is I, uh, I need two things to motivate me on a new painting. One is a certain symbolism or colors. I mean, these are the two motivators for me to start a new painting. I have the symbolism. I don't really have the colors yet in my head. We'll worry about that tomorrow. So I'm basically going to show you what I have here, this is the symbol that I want. Of course, the symbol of justice. And as you can see, I did like we do uh, in little, uh, in high school or in grade school, I just squared off the whole thing to make it kind of easier for me to reproduce on the canvas that's on this wall. So before the stream started. I already made all the squares. Hopefully that will help me figure out how to draw this uh, uh, symbol of justice. And then um, that will be basically our stream for the day. It's going to be a short one. I hope so at least. I hope I'm not going to find any complications. Theoretically this should go okay. Just going to make a circle for the head right now because there's a strong chance that I'm just going to basically put my nuclear air mask on instead of painting the, the face quite like that. just going to use my ruler to do this blade. I think basically this is what we want to do. Just do a straight line like this. Just try to get the other side of this sword. And there we go. Basically, this gives me enough to work with it's just to get the proportions and the ideas together so that tomorrow we can start uh, well, putting in details and getting things a little bit done. Maybe start with the background color of the whole thing. So right now, what I, all I'm going to do is erase all the pencil lines that I did on this painting because I don't want them to show through. I rarely, rarely have so many. Well, I never do these kind of type of paintings either. So I have all these lines that I have to erase. It's kind of new for me as well. As you know, most of my paintings are just kind of my symbols that I've been doing for years that I'm not ashamed of reproducing over and over in different patterns, different colors. Basically show you what I'm talking about for years and years. All I did was do uh, these kind of posters that I uh, glued in the streets. This is when I was with the group called Zen Copyright in Paris. And we would just like produce uh, as many posters as we could. So at first it was just kind of uh, symbolism. And uh, then as through the years, I mean, I actually stopped painting on canvas for like five years, just dedicated myself to making these posters that we glued all over the place, may it be New York, Amsterdam, Berlin, Paris, whatever. So this is a kind of also where I came to maturity in my painting because I had to learn to 
paint very quickly, use bright colors, use symbolism, all the things that I loved. So uh, it turned out that, as you can see, some of these posters got more and more sophisticated with time, and uh, quantity was less of a priority, and quality uh, just kind of basically stepped in. So these are all a variety of posters that I glued on the streets, and uh, these are more sophisticated, you could say, posters. And uh, always using the same symbolism that I have in my paintings as well. And then, of course, we would uh, glue them in the street, with, which would give this kind of effect. We would be like seven of us, maybe, or more. Right here, you can see the Zen copyright gluing their posters there, too. The same with my friend Pedro. So these are all varieties. And of course, all this was like street art back in the day it was still uh, kind of illegal. So you had to kind of play around with the cops and stuff, try to avoid them as much as possible. But it gives you a good idea, a little bit about what I'm talking about when I say my posters and my symbolism using the my Zen rebel guy there with that oxygen mask, which was my cry for, I don't know how many years, 40 years, about the dangers of, uh, uh, of cutting down the trees in the Amazon and, uh, you know, they're all, all, everything that we're living through now and that we're going to live through forever, unfortunately, because nobody listened. Nobody wanted to change the laws. And that's why we're having all these kind of climate problems. But I did my share, or at least I tried to pull the alarm signal, warn people, talk about it. I did like, uh, I DJ the concerts for the Amazon forest in the 1980s, whatever. So anyways, thank you for joining me. I hope this wasn't too boring of a session. I hope you'll join me tomorrow as well as we continue. I'm going to leave you like I always do with two things. The first one is my schedule. And the second one is by saying, ciao mes amis.